Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 classic movie songs. Nothing seems to fit. Those raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. For this list, we'll be looking at the best use of tracks in films released between 1930 and 1969 inclusively. They can be written for a movie or previously recorded and included within it, just as long as they're not being used in a musical. Some plot points will be discussed, so beware of potential spoilers. Did we forget a favorite song of yours? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. K Sera Sera, Whatever Will Be Will Be, The Man Who Knew Too Much Director Alfred Hitchcock remade his own project, The Man Who Knew Too Much, with this version being released in 1956. The movie stars James Stewart and Doris Day as married couple Ben and Joe. K Sera Sera is initially sung by Joe with their son Hank in their hotel room. Here's what she said Come on, darling. to me. K Sera Sera, whatever will be, will be. Later in the plot, the music makes a reappearance in a pivotal scene where the couple look to reunite with their taken son. Day's classic voice brings a soothing, almost lullaby-like quality to the music. It's what my sweetheart said. Ever will be, will be. The sing-along feel embedded within it encourages listeners to follow along with the simple melody. This single arguably overshadows the thriller itself, having become a reference and mantra all its own. And again, and again, and again. Number 9. The Faithful Hussar, Paths of Glory At the finale of the World War I film Paths of Glory, French troops gather at a tavern to celebrate their break from battle. A German woman is made to sing in front of them. It could have been a chance for the audience to boo, hiss, or just get extra rowdy, but her choice stuns the soldiers. She performs this folk song that resonates across cultural barriers. So, ach bitte Mutter, bring ein Licht, mein Liebchen stirbt, ich seh es nicht. Many of the faces watch and get teary, clearly connecting on an emotional level to the melody. They even participate. The music gives them all a moment of humanity, away from the harrowing world of the Western Front. Number 8. Red River Valley, The Grapes of Wrath Although full of hardship and painful struggles, The Grapes of Wrath features sequences of brightness in its story of migrant workers heading west. The Jode family saddles up to a party that gets Tom interested in dancing the night away. <laughs> Bringing his mother along with him, the hero sings softly along with the folk tune Red River Valley. Come and sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. Henry Fonda's brief yet extremely authentic performance brings out a quiet moment of happiness between loved ones. Even though the story confronts the worries of 20th century America, it also allows a musical scene like this one that showcases the importance of community. But remember the Red River Valley And the boy who has loved you so true Number 7. I Wanna Be Loved By You, Some Like It Hot Centering around a traveling band, Some Like It Hot also has one of Marilyn Monroe's finest showings as their magnetic singer, Sugar. I wanna be loved by you, just you, nobody else but you. In this memorable sequence, she performs I Wanna Be Loved By You, showing everything she has to offer. Able to carry musical scenes as well as comedic ones, Monroe's effortless charms emanate from her every motion and note. I couldn't aspire to anything higher than 
to feel the desire. It's impossible to watch this and not recognize her presence as an indisputable star from the golden age of Hollywood. Her underrated voice brings the show tune home, wooing the audience with her talents in Billy Wilder's classic comedy. Nobody else but you. I wanna be loved by you. The deedly 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 dum. Boop boop be doop. Number 6. Everybody's Talkin', Midnight Cowboy Standing as the central theme song for this film, Everybody's Talkin' beautifully reflects its core values. Everybody's talking at me I don't hear a word to say Only the echoes of my mind the story sees Joe Buck leave Texas to find success in the big city, aka New York, but he's unable to achieve his hustler dreams, living on the fringes of society with Dustin Hoffman's Rico. I'm going where the sun keeps shining, through the pouring rain. The lyrics of this song take listeners on a melancholic journey out of the urban jungle and into the country. With Harry Nilsson's delicate vocals, the music comes alive in a folksy classic full of emotional nuances. Sailing on summer breeze And skipping over the ocean like a stone Midnight Cowboy could be interpreted as depicting the failure of the American dream, and this track serves as a stirring companion piece. Number 5. Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Every great James Bond movie needs an amazing theme, and Goldfinger's no exception. Goldfinger! He's the man, the man with the Midas touch. For the third entry in the franchise, composer John Barry co-writes a tune with lots of luster, and his efforts provide a standard for the entire series to follow. Although, none of it would matter without the vocal performance by Dame Shirley Bassey. Beware of this heart of gold. This heart is cold. Her powerful tone first sends shockwaves through listeners during the film's title sequence, doing so again over the closing ones. Bassey was so perfect on this track that she was invited back for multiple Bond themes. Needless to say, her work on the brass-heavy Goldfinger set a high bar for the future. <laughs> Number 4. Also Spracht Zarathustra 2001 A Space Odyssey Director Stanley Kubrick's sci-fi epic 2001 A Space Odyssey needed a triumphant piece of music to explore the farthest reaches of space. And this Richard Strauss piece, which accompanies images of the solar system, is the perfect choice to open the film. Indeed, it's exactly the kind of monumental sound that you'd want to explain the vastness of the universe. The track also accompanies the famous sequence with the hominins, as they repurpose bones into weapons. Interestingly, Kubrick's usage of the classical composition has become a cultural reference all its own. Because of this film, Also Spracht Zarathustra has become the quintessential track to score an especially dramatic revelation. Number 3. The Sound of Silence – The Graduate Simon and Garfunkel recorded this track in 1964, but it became an even larger part of the public consciousness after being used in The Graduate. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. It serves as a sort of theme that follows the title character around. Benjamin finds himself lost after graduation, with the song describing his inner turmoil in rather poetic terms. Simon's lyrics essentially echo the hero's wayward existence as he contemplates an uncertain future. The single has a darkness to it that resonates as a timely meditation on life, which makes it perfect for the story it's part of. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains. 
Long before it became a meme, The Sound of Silence was an essential part of this classic romantic dramedy. And touch the sound of silence. Number 2. Moon River – Breakfast at Tiffany's For audiences of a certain age, Moon River might be the most hummed tune in their personal repertoire. After all, its catchy melody has permeated popular culture for decades, especially considering it was sung by Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Her character, Holly Golightly, performs it with a guitar on her fire escape, creating a gorgeous moment. The humble rendition features a lot of heart from Hepburn, harnessing the soul of her iconic character. Off to see the world, there's such a lot of world to see. The track won an Oscar and Grammys, and serves an important purpose in the film, exploring Golightly's personality. Now, it's a go-to for singers of all kinds due to its compelling music and lyrics. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Raindrops Keep Fallin' on My Head, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. A cheerful biking sequence allows for this number to lighten the mood. Raindrops keep falling on my head And just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed Smile, Modern Times. Chaplin's instrumental punctuates the pathos of the comedy. We'll meet again, Dr. Strangelove, bringing a brilliant satire to a close with irony and style. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. As Time Goes By, Casablanca Rick and Elsa reunite in this classic romance, having been torn apart by circumstance and their different paths in life. Their reunion comes with baggage that can be summed up by this track. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. Every relationship is defined by a song, and as time goes by might be the ultimate statement of love. The only trouble is that the two heroes can never truly be together again, emphasizing the emotions they feel in hearing it. No matter what the future brings, as time goes by. If you want a surefire way to get people misty-eyed, just play this melancholic number. Casablanca wouldn't be the same without it, using the track to bring together its themes in an effective way. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.